Hello and welcome to PowerEgg. For this video, we will look at using ChatGPT to write an R script query in Power BI. We will look at creating a mutate function that manipulates the sales fact quantity data, creating a jitter effect every time the data is refreshed. The end result will be a line chart with the out-of-the-box Power BI forecast, which when the report is updated, simply changes the data we have, making it look live-like. As always, you can find the solution in the GitHub repository, for which the link is below in the description, and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. After this tutorial, we will have this following report. This is a line chart with um, a trend line, and we also have the out-of-the-box Power BI forecast on the right, which is um, a 12-month period, so we can kind of see um, a pattern in the data. And um, if we click away, we can see here that I have a date selector and I'm selecting the past one, two, three, four, five years. And the trick now about this R code is that all of these values will change once I update the data. So if I go and refresh the data, we can see now if you have a close look that the data, oh, it will manipulate. So let's have a look at this again. Let's click refresh again and the data should change again. Okay, it is loading now the data, creating the connection to the model, and it should change in a second. Yep, it's loading the data. So let's have a look if it changes again. Perfect, and it changed again. And um, basically what this is doing, this is running an R code, um, an R script um, over an existing um, data model I have. So I have um, on my local machine, on a local host, um, a, a connection to, a, to an SQL server um, with the Contoso 10 million row data. And I filtered in the R code the data to only Germany, so it's not overloaded. And um, every time I refresh the data, it will mutate the data and um, create different data points. Um, there might not be a real life application, but I thought it was uh, pretty fun to look at. And of course, um, this is all on my local machine. If you move the whole solution to a cloud-based solution, um, you can create, um, you can add a, a page refresh to the Power BI report for every couple of seconds or so, and then create like a streaming data set or, or in a data mart or an Azure SQL server and, and um, add the refreshed um, times depending on, on what subscription level you have. And um, it will it will really move in, in real time appearance, right? And this, this really makes, we're basically animating the data. So let's have a look um, at what the requirements are. So we have right here our requirements. The first requirement is that we want a sales line chart that when updated moves data points, um, creating a lifelike data effect. And we are doing this using our script from ChatGPT. This was generated from ChatGPT. I just asked um, questions and um, if there was an error, I told ChatGPT what the error was. And depending on that, it improved the R script until it finally worked. So this took me like a little bit of a while because the chat turned out to be pretty long because I'm not an R script professional, but um, nonetheless, it worked. And the R script should manipulate the sales quantity data, which in turn will affect the total sales measure. And um, lastly, we want to include the Power BI out of the box forecast in the visual. Okay, so the first step towards getting the solution is to ask ChatGPT what to do. All right, so we are in ChatGPT, and as you can see, I'm, um, I'm, well, I'm actually in the beginning of the chat, and I told ChatGPT, ChatGPT, I'm not familiar with um, R or Python that much, and um, I would like to know which one is better to use to manipulate data and so on. And it turns out that to do this mutate function, um, I'm gonna use the R code. So I asked, what do I need to do? Um, the first step is to actually get the R console on your machine and um, then to install the packages. The um, this We have this package, a DPLYR package from the comprehensive R archive network repository. And then if I go down through my install, I also have right to the um, RODBC package, which is the first one I actually need um, to be able to connect to the SQL server. And then I have um, the connection string and so on. So let's um, get rid of this. And you can see now I'm scrolling down through the chat that 
this took quite a while. Um, so I, I went through the code. It gave me some code. Um, it turns out some errors. Then I wanted to filter the data. Um, then the jitter effect wasn't enough um, to actually be to to visualize it properly. Anyways, so long story short, I came. Um, we came to a result, and this is the actual code where the script we're going to use. We're just going to copy paste this um, into Power Query in a minute. But the first thing we need to do is to um, actually um, install the packages on our machine. Right, so we have our instructions from ChatGPT. So let's install the R libraries and write the R script query. Okay, we are now in the R console. So I'm just going to copy paste the installation package script, which is this one first. And it's going to install it. As you can see, it is um, currently running the installation. Okay, this was successful. So let's install the other package we need. Let's again just copy paste this and it is now installing the dplyr package perfect and this is all in german so um, don't worry about it but um, it was successful okay the next step is to create the query so we are we opened up the query editor um, transform data and we click on new source and we go on more and this will um, create a pop-up window in a second Perfect. And now we just write our script and perfect. We get the R script um, query editor. So we open that up and in here we paste the code, um, which is also available in the blog or in the description below uh, of the video. But um, I can't give you a, unfortunately I can't make this video. Um, I can't make this window bigger. But basically what this does, it first um, defines the connection string. So I'm going onto the local host and I'm loading the Contoso 10 million database. And because I'm using Windows authentication, according to ChatGPT, all I have to do is write trusted connection true. Perfect. And um, the next step is to load the data. So we do the join between the um, sales and the customer table so that I can filter. Um, the sales table where the country is equal to Germany so that I don't have too much data. Here is actually where the jitter effect takes place. I'm using the quantity and I'm manipulating it and um, then I just connect and so on. So I just click OK and this will create the connection and so on. Okay, so this is loaded. So all we have to do is select it and click OK, and it will load the data into um, the query editor. But I want it to be part of the Contoso group. So I moved it up. And that's it. All we have to do now is click close and apply, and it will load the data. Okay, great. So the next step is to add the data to um, to actually um, perform the query and uh, load the data into the data model and add the data to the visual. Okay, so the data is loaded and the next step is add the data. So let's open up our fields and let's see what we have. Oh no, wait, the first thing we need to do is open up the query editor. Uh, sorry, the um, my bad, the modeling view. And we have the table and we need to create a connection between the delivery date and the date field so that I can use the date field to map the data. Perfect. Okay, so we have done that. So let's go back and let's add, let's see what we have here. Okay, so we need a new field here, um, which is the quantity times the unit cost. So let's just add a custom column here. Um, let's go on column tools, new column. And this would be total sales equals, and we go quantity times cost. Perfect, hit enter. That's it, that's pretty straightforward. So now we need another measure. So let's go ahead and go on home and new measure. And this new measure is just very simple, total 
sales, we will call it total sales jitter, equals calculate some, oops, some, and um, total sales from the Contoso sales data table we have. Perfect. Let's click enter. And the name total sales jitter is already used. Um, my bad. So let's call this total sales jitter. Let's just, let's just call it total sales. Also used. Okay. Total. How about total jitter sales? Total Jetta sales. Okay, perfect. And then let's have a look what the next step is. This is it for this step. Okay, my bad. I forgot one essential thing. So let's go back and transform my data because um, the R script doesn't automatically format the data. So for the delivery date, we actually have to tell it um, that the data type is date. And um, for the quantity, it is numeric. That's fine. So have a look at that unit price is numeric all of that is good but the date remember that you have to transform the date um, my bad i apologize for that so i'm just going to go ahead and load the data again okay so the data has loaded so let's try this and add this to the y-axis the sales jitter and perfect so we have the data um, now the next step is to i've already created the trend line um, and I wanted to dot it. The next um, step would be to add the forecast. So let's go ahead and click on forecast on. And we have forecast length. We want 12. And seasonality. Oops. That is fine. So we have 12 data points. Let's click apply. Okay. And we see full 12 months. That's good. And let's add... Let's make this for, um, forecast a little bit yellow. Okay, perfect. And I want the um, the line to be gray, a dark gray. Wonderful. Okay, so let's close this up and have a look. This looks fine. Um, let's see what happens if I add another year. Okay, perfect. This works as well. So we can add years and data. That's no problem. Um, so let's see what the next step is, which would be to test the solution. Okay, and the final and last step is to test the solution and refresh the data. Okay, so, so one final thing before we test the solution is that we have on the visual, um, we have to manipulate, manipulate the y-axis. So for example, here I said I want... Um, 32 million as the maximum. The reason for this is so that when the data actually moves, um, we can see the movement on the um, on, on a fixed y-axis. Otherwise, the axis will adjust and you won't really see the sales jitter so well. So let's go ahead and refresh the data and have a look what it will look like. Okay, and it's now loading the data. So let's have a look if it works. And nothing. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I was wondering. Okay, great. So this works. Um, wonderful. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, wonderful. So we just built a solution using R code with chat GPT. I think that's very cool. Um, again, the real life application for this is probably not there. But um, this just goes to show how much chat GPT can actually offer. Um, you can probably do some R code visuals uh, with chat GPT in Power BI do some forecasts and um, different kind of forecasts and, and really get into the data. And it's very cool. You can also do this, of course, with Python. Um, not this, what I did now, apparently. I don't know, maybe you can, but according to ChatGPT, it wouldn't work. Um, yeah, so that's it. Well, thank you very much for watching and um, I hope to see you in the next video. Make sure to subscribe and to download the solution from GitHub and try it out yourself. Thank you very much for watching.